Il giorno fa mi aveva scritto Uncle Mervyn ah, per sapere come stava papà. Anche il tuo piede. Molto grande sto cornetto. Yeah, è molto grande. Mi mando, 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 mando la... Oh, Dove parte il mio mini qua? E' il grande che fare. Eh? Loro stanno cercando di capire che sta succedendo. Un minuto e dici così, un minuto e dici è difficile per un personaggio. Eh beh, è difficile pure per noi. Io posso Hi guys, it's me. Hello all of you. Welcome back to the vlog. First vlog of 2019 actually. And um, yeah, I really didn't film in the month of January because January was just one of those months that you just couldn't wait for it to be over. Nothing much happened, just work, 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 and that's all. But today I thought, you know what, let's just switch on the camera and see where this video takes us. Um, as you can see, I am out and about. We just had breakfast. I hope you can hear me. And it's a beautiful day. I wanted to film a favorites video. Honestly, I did. But then I was too lazy and couldn't bring myself to film it. And I thought, oh, okay, let's just leave it. Also because favorites video are just not my favorite videos to watch and to film also. It's just not my thing. I am more of a haul girl, okay? I like my hauls and I like my vlogs. Anyway, I have some new bits to show you. And I will. I don't know if I'll do like a collective haul or do it vlog style. Anyway, it's a, it's gonna be a fun haul because it's, I mean, all the things that I bought, you will not believe the color scheme. And I don't want to add more because it will ruin the surprise. Anyway, one new purchase that I'm wearing right now, you can see it is this Obama jacket from Miu Miu. Oh my God, guys, such a good score. Um, it was on sale on the My Theresa website. And I was browsing on my Theresa. I don't even know why. I had no reason to be on that website. But then I saw that this was, um, it was discounted 50% off and then it had an extra, I think 20 or 30% off. So such a great deal for, I mean, we're talking Mew Mew, okay, Mew Mew. It's a bomber jacket. And for a while I've been thinking to embrace the bomber jacket trend because I like it. Um, I love the color, but mainly I love the pop of orange inside. It's really nice. It has a fur on the hood, which is nice. I don't know if it's real fur or not, truthfully, but uh, nevertheless, it is really nice. So, yeah, that's that. I'm melting, literally melting, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm loving the weather. And I will check back with you later. Is my lipstick still on? I think so. The other day I went, um, I went for a birthday lunch with my cousins, and one of my cousins noticed my uh, red lipstick. She, like me, loves a red lip. And um, in the middle of the lunch, she said, "Lara, how is it that your red lipstick stays put for hours, even while you are eating?" And I'm like, hmm, girl, I will hook you up. This is the Rihanna Fenty lipstick. And I said, you have to have it because it does just stay on and does not budge at all. And yes, the sun is gone so I can breathe a little. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will see you later. Do we love my, my um, sunglasses? I love how oversized they are and I love the holographic GG and I already have my eye on another pair of sunglasses I know I know I am a bit sick when it comes to sunglasses I mean I would have all of them if it depends on me uh, there are a pair from Dior I saw them on Sarah Denise but we will see we will see Shall I? Hi guys, here I am. So I am back. I think the last time we spoke was like what? 
three weeks ago. It was the beginning of February and now we are at the end of February. So yes, I am um, horrible. I'm a horrible YouTuber. Mea culpa. I'm just so, so bad. Um, I have no excuses, okay? I'm not going to waste your time giving you all the excuses because there are none. So, um, I thought that I would do a proper face-to-face -face haul because it's just the only way. I, I mainly, if I could give myself a little bit of an excuse, uh, the reason why I put off filming is because I wanted to show you guys the new things I bought vlogging style, but it was just never happening. So I thought, you know what, let's just switch on the camera and show the girls the things that I bought the past the past month, basically, yes, because I went a little crazy this month. I don't know what got into me. Um, I did take off one thing off my um, 2019 wish list, which I did share on the gram. It's actually in my on my Instagram page, if you want to go and check it out. I want to start by mentioning a few items that I bought that I actually don't have with me because I actually just now, an hour ago, left them to a seamstress because I had to have them altered. Like, altered, altered. Um, but I, still, I love them so much that I wanted to mention them to you. Uh, the first thing is a dress. Oh, it's such a cute dress. I'll put a picture uh, on the screen. It is from a brand that I've never heard of. It's called Sister Jane. And I discovered it on ASOS. Gosh, ASOS is always so dangerous. Uh, I saw it. I fell in love. It had pink. It had red. I just had to. So I got it. And um, fits great and everything. But because I am a shorty, I had to have it altered. Like cut big time because it's just too long. So yes, that, that's at the seamstress, seamstress because I have to shorten the skirt. I like dresses that are slightly under my knee, but not right down to my ankles, you know what I mean? That's not my jam. So that's, a, that's one thing. The second thing is a skirt. It's a pink that, okay, there's a lot of pink, okay? Just be prepared, there's a lot of pink. And it's a pink velvet skirt from Girlfriend Denim, which fits me great and everything. But the one thing that I don't like about Girlfriend Denim is that it has a button fly and not a zip fly. And it's a bit uncomfortable for me, like not practical, you know, the whole buttoning and unbuttoning. So um, I basically asked her to um, switch the zips for, switch the buttons for a zip. So that's also getting done. Another thing that I bought this month and that I'm actually wearing is this sweater over here and pink. Again, there's a, there's a theme, okay? There's a theme in this video. Pinko with red. I love this combination. I've had a love affair with pink that's last a lifetime, okay? I love pink, love pink. And I've always loved red. But the combination of pink and red together is something that's got into my system and I cannot get it out. I love it. And when I saw this sweater, which by the way, I got from Farfetch and I wasn't even, I never even uttered buying a clothing item from the Chiara Ferragni collection. This is Chiara Ferragni collection. If you don't know Chiara Ferragni, she is the Italian influencer, okay? And, um, but Farfetch, uh, one day when I was scrolling, said, um, it was, you know, suggestions, items that you might like. And the first item was this sweat. And I was like, whoa, incredible. And there was only an L left. So I bought it. It was a no-brainer. It, it's this quite, um, I don't say fuchsia, not fuchsia, but, you know, quite a dark pink with red um, around the color and on the uh, wrist. And on the waistband over here, it looks so nice. The logo per se is nothing fantastic. It says I see you, but uh, which I don't really care much about. But I love the whole pink and red combo. It's just, ah, oh, I breathe the red and pink combo. I love it. And then from ASOS, I got uh, a loungewear set from Adidas. This is the sweater. It's a... It's a pink sweater. I mean, it's pretty basic, very straightforward. Nothing much to mention. It's this pink uh, sweater from 
Adidas with the logo, the typical uh, logo. It's very oversized. The sweater is oversized, the logo is oversized, it's just huge. And um, that's the way I like it when it comes to loungewear. I just want to be comfortable. If I see, if I like fitted clothes when I'm out and about, when I'm at home, it's the complete opposite. Off with the bra and on to extreme, extremely big, large lounge, loungewear. So this is this, and actually the model on ASOS paired this uh, sweater with these leggings from Adidas. Uh, it's in a more darker pink. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna copy the whole look. And then I'm all over the place, okay? Sweaters, loungewear, sweater again. This time I want to show you this one from a brand that I have never heard of. A new brand, but very, very glad that I discovered it. It's called Paper London, and I saw this sweater on Tamara. Tamara Kalinic. Everything, every time I see her videos, there's always something that I like, there's always something that I want to get, and in her, I don't know if her last video or, anyway, in, in one of her recent videos, she was actually wearing this sweater, and I was hypnotized. And I'm usually not one that reads comments or whatever's written in the info box, but that was one time that I actually opened the info box to see. I was hoping that she mentioned what she was wearing, and she did. It is, it was this sweater from Paper London, and we do see the team again, right? Very colorful. There's red, there's several shades of pink actually, and then white and blue. I just love it. It's a beautiful sweater, 100% uh, wool, wool, obviously, you all know me, being the snob that I am. And uh, a beautiful detail is actually the, the ruching in front. There is a, a knot that you make at the base of the sweater, so that all this, this center part ruches up. And it's just a beautiful detail. And I love it. I don't have anything like this, actually. It's my first time buying anything from the brand in general. And I'm very glad that I got it, actually. Um, yeah, love it. And then when I placed my order on ASOS for that pink Adidas um, set, I also got a suit from the ASOS brand, actually. And I only have the blazer with me because the matching trouser is also at the seamstress because I had to have it not only shorten, but also, for me, those trousers look a bit too large. I mean, it's fine on the waist on everything, but on the leg, there's a lot of excess fabric that I do not like. I am all about, you know, skinny trousers and jeans in general. So I've actually asked the seamstress to, you know, make that leg a bit more slim because that's what I like. So that's there, but I still wanted to show you guys the blazer. The set is 100% um, linen, so ideal for the warmer months because it'll keep you nice and fresh. And I've been wanting to get my hands on a co-ord uh, suit for ever since last year. Uh, but so when I saw this one on ASOS, I thought, you know what? The price point was actually quite accessible. So yeah, I got this pink one, pink blazer with pink... Um, trouser with just a white t-shirt underneath and my pink Gucci loafers. Oh, gross. Oh, God, does it get any better? Okay, so after this whole lot of pinkness, now we can move on to other items of other colors. You know, there are other colors in the world and thanks God, I sometimes I realize that and um, I choose other, uh, other colors as well. I got my very first Anine Bing piece. I don't own anything from Anin Bing, but I know that her blazers are quite the hit, and um, I always made a mental note that I would like to check them out. So one fine day, you know, like you would, I went on the Anin Bing website. Uh, there is a European website for Anin Bing. So I checked the website out, and the sales were still going on, and the blazer that I actually wanted to check out, which is this one, the infamous grey jacket blazer with red um, linings going through, was actually on sale. It was 30% discount, so from 300 something, it was 200 something. Such a deal. I was not expecting that, so I obviously put in the basket, check out immediately. And... Um, Thanks God I did that because the next day I went to check out the blazer again and it was all gone. 
all gone. So I mean, that's just another sign from the gods of fashion. So yes, this is the blazer. Can't wait to wear it. It's a, it's definitely a blazer. That's not it's not a thick blazer. Okay, this is not a blazer that I can wear now in the winter time. Actually, right now, ninety percent of the things that I show you guys, I can't wear. I can't wear the pink um, ASOS suit. I can't wear the uh, girlfriend um, mini skirt. I can't wear this, the Sister Jane dress. <laughs> I've been wearing this sweater, so this one and the uh, Paper London sweater, and obviously the, the Adidas. But like this is something that I would wear more in the springtime, you know, with a t-shirt. I would like to get the Anin Bing uh, logo t-shirt. It would look so good under this, and I love, I love checkered blazers. I think they just look so, so smart, and it gives a good, Look, it gives a good um, edge to like a feminine look, you know what I mean? Not too masculine, but quite rock chic, that kind of look. So I love it. I love this blazer. And then the last two items that I have to show you guys is one is a pair of shoes, the other is a pair of sunglasses. Yes, yes. I think I buy more sunglasses in the wintertime than in the summertime. I don't know, I just can't help myself. Anyway, let's go on with the shoes. Yes, guys. I was not expecting to buy these shoes so early in the year because these shoes are shoes that, again, like so many things, I'm, I can't wear them now. But um, I am, I was 100% sure that I wanted them in my life, that I had to get them due to sizing restrictions. Anyway, let me just show you. Da -da -da -da! Yes, guys, I got the red Gucci loafers that were in my wish list and uh, as I said I thought that I was going to buy them more towards you know March, April, even May because I don't wear my loafers right now in the winter time guys it's cold okay I got them now I got them now because I was just I could not risk not finding them in my size so I had these shoes on my wish list on the My Theresa website uh, because My Theresa is the only website that had the red Gucci loafers in the Jordan style in a size 34, which is my Gucci size, okay, the smallest size. Uh, all the other websites had uh, the red Gucci loafers, but in the Brixton. And between Brixton, which is the softer kind of loafers, and the Jordans, these, which are the harder versions, I prefer the harder versions because they are easier to slip on and slip off. I have both in my collection. I have a white pair of Jordans and I have a pink pair of Brixtons. I love them both to death, but if I had to choose the style, I prefer the Jordans. So I had that on my wish list on my Theresa website and I thought, you know what, it's going to stay there for a, a while. But then what happened is, and it's actually something that I like about the My Theresa website, when there is a last piece of an item on your wish list, they tell you. Which is a good thing and a bad thing actually because I just, I started stressing out because I thought, okay, what do I do if they just sell out? They, these shoes in the size 34 are not available, not even on the Gucci website. So I thought, you know what? It's actually a no-brainer, I thought. I'm going to buy these shoes eventually because I wanted a red pair. I would rather be safe than sorry. I would rather have them now and keep it in my, you know, shoe collection. Let them collect a little bit of dust until, you know, April when I can wear them. Then arrive to the month of April and the size 34 not being available at all. So, you know, I, just, I got them. I just got them. And thanks God I did because I'm telling you, if you manage, let me know. I cannot find a size 34 red Jordans Gucci loafers. Nada, girls. Nada. Nowhere to be found. So, yes. Had to get them. Had to. And then, the last thing I want to show you guys are my uh, slightly dirty... I should clean them, but I can't be bothered, guys. I mean, it's already so much that I'm filming this video, I'm telling you. I'm so lazy. No, it's just that I'm tired, okay? It's Friday. I, 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 by the end of the week, I am exhausted. I mean, all I want to do is sleep, eat, and watch Netflix. Which, by the way, I'm watching The Umbrella Academy. What do you think about it? I, I think it's good. I just started it, but I think it has potential. 
and I also finished watching Pulse. Loved it! And the category is... I loved it and I missed it. I wish that the series was longer, honestly. I wish it was longer. I wonder if they will ever do a second season. I mean, I haven't heard much about it, so I don't think so. But if they're going to do a second season of Pose, let me know because it'll be the best news. I also watched uh, Sex Education. Hilarious. I loved it. So yes, thanks God for Netflix. Anyway, my, yes, I was... Why, why do I even go on tangents? Anyway, um, I got a new pair of sunglasses and I got these ones from Dior. They belong to the uh, Spring Summer... 19 collection so they are brand new if you want to get them get them now and these this is what they look I think that they are the perfect sunglasses for the colder months because you know how it is in the winter months uh, there is sun but not so much or at least not for long hours so uh, something like this is ideal I feel you know because the lens is very clear um, even if it's slightly dark outside, you can still wearing them without, you know, having such a dark shade in front of your eyes. It's clear. It's like almost like wearing prescription uh, glasses. So, yes, I love them. Uh, I love the frame. The frame is very light. You can hardly feel them on your face. They are oversized and they are square. Just like my Gucci, um, not square, rectangular, pardon. Uh, just like my Gucci. Um, I'm all into the rectangular sunglasses. I think they suit my face very, very well. What say you? I think they do, you know, because they are big, but at the same time, there's, you know, structure. And I have a round face, so I think it's a good contrast. And as I said, I like the clear lens. I like that it's gradient. I mean, I look good. I think I look good. <laughs> oh my god. I totally forgot to put on lipstick. Oh, gosh. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really all over the place, but still uh, very true to moi. And um, do stay tuned for my next video, which I think will be another vlog because I'll take you along with me next Friday. I'm going to the hairdresser. Have to buy little bits and bobs at the drugstore. So, you know, I would just switch on the camera and take you guys with me. So, yes, until next time, bye-bye!